How's it going? I'm Andrew with Investors Hub, and uh, SGOC rocketed off into the stratosphere these past couple of days. You might have seen uh, their stock chart, people talking about it on Twitter. Uh, they 10x'd over the past couple of days, and they've like thousand x their volume it's some ridiculously huge amount and uh, i wanted to figure out like what the heck was going on with that and i did some research and the answers might surprise you i'll just go ahead and skip to the good part the answer is nobody knows right i checked out a bunch of different articles and everyone's just like mm, it's going up because it's going up it's uh, classified as a momentum trade uh, there's no news or anything that came out about sgoc or the company is called SGOCO. That is the that is the official, I guess, acronym for whatever the company's real name is. Uh, but SGOC is their ticker symbol. And yeah, they haven't released any big news about them releasing some new product or you know going through some sort of technological breakthrough or anything like that. Uh, and so the movement is all based on. We're not totally sure. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it's a meme stock on Wall Street Bets too. So I went and checked out uh, FinTech's Wall Street Bets Analyzer tool, which is pretty neat. And nope, Wall Street Bets is just talking about SPCE right now, so they're not interested in it. And yeah, Twitter is talking about it a lot, but of course Twitter's talking about it a lot. That's not, you know, it went up 10x, uh, and they get a couple of tweets per minute. Short percentage, checked out their short percentage, uh, their percent, it's like 1% short percentage, but that data is completely useless because uh, it's data from June 15th. So it's before all this happened. So who knows what the short percentage is right now. I think that you're gonna get new short percentage data on the 15th of this month, which is gonna be interesting, but then the short volume ratio and stuff is probably gonna be all screwed up because if they sample it over a 30 day period, then you're gonna have like, it's gonna to be totally screwed up because all the volume by like orders of magnitude is gonna be in the last couple of days, whereas there's gonna be no volume in the 25 days prior to that. So I went and checked out their website, which is really sketchy, it's not even secured. And I also checked out uh, their investor releases and the last investor release they got was from a few months ago, and it was the NASDAQ chastising them for not filling out their paperwork on time. So no news from them whatsoever. I was like, okay, so what do they even do? Like, what are they? Well, according to their About Us page, they're a Chinese corporate conglomerate, which is a pretty big red flag. Uh, they own a couple of different companies that seem totally unrelated to one another, one of which is a VR company. The other one is a smart HVAC company. They do like smart building solutions for heating and cooling. That's what I can parse together. Uh, and another one is they're a money lender in Hong Kong. Also, they mentioned that they're focusing on tier three and tier four cities, which I have no idea what that means. Uh, so I went and looked it up. And according to the uh, South China Morning Post, who had this handy dandy uh, chart that you can look at, it is a system of ranking cities, which is not really surprising. Uh, tier one being the largest and tier four being the smallest. And so tier one cities are your really, really huge cities that have a lot of GDP and a lot of political influence. Uh, and then tier four cities are the ones that are much, much smaller. And so they're supposed to be focusing on tier three and tier four cities, uh, which they call it like emerging and developing cities. So they're aggressively attacking that market to try and uh, capture market share in those new places. So there's just like red flags all over the place with this company. And I suspect, and I'm not an investing professional, that uh, this is uh, something sketchy is going on, right? And this is just purely a momentum trade. And we're here to see who's left holding the bag. So if you're super duper into momentum trades, then I guess mess with it. But I'm not going to touch it with a 10-foot pole.